Hey guys, this is Ray with Phone Arena. I'm at Tifa 2014 and in my hand I have the new Samsung Galaxy Note 4. And did you guys know that um, Samsung's new tablet actually has uh, two new sensor types built right into it? So in addition to the heart rate sensor right here, which was also present on the Galaxy S5, and the fingerprint scanner here, we have two new sensors which can be accessed to the S Health application. So the first new one is the SPO2, a sensor which tries to measure the oxygen saturation um, in your blood. So let's try to measure that. You have to put your finger here again. The sensor is right there and let's give it a try. It says you have to keep still and quiet while measuring it. And it looks like it takes a bit of time. Okay, so make sure your fingertip is on the center of the center, do not press too hard. So let's give that another try. Let's see. Okay, so this time we, ma we managed to get a reading and it says 96%. I honestly don't know if that's good or bad. Hopefully it's okay. And now let's move to the other new sensor which is the UV sensor, it measures the, uh, you know, the uh, ultraviolet radiation from the sun and uh, tries to determine if it's uh, healthy to go outside or not. So, point the sensor on the back of the device directly at the sun. Uh, obviously we don't have a sun in here in the hole, but uh, I'll just try to measure the, uh, you know, the lighting in here. Let's see what we get. Naturally, we expect a very low radiation levels. And yeah, it's actually very close to the minimum finished. Low risk of harm from unprotected sun exposure. So that's the UV sensor in the Galaxy Note 4, guys. Uh, two new, you know, features to play around with and hopefully they will also be uh, useful for some uh, future note for, note for users. In the meantime, uh, if you'd like to learn more about the Galaxy Note 4 and all of its sensors and features, just uh, check us out at phonearena.com.